Hey guys, this is Gaijin Hunter, and I'm finally back with another weapon preview from the demo of Monster Hunter Rise. A lot of you have been asking me to do the Charge Blade next, so here I am. I will admit I'm not nearly as good at the Charge Blade as I was back in the fourth generation, but that doesn't mean that I can't still hunt with it and have lots of fun, because man, this thing can do quite a bit. This is not a tutorial, I'm just going to be going through the moves as I see them in the game, so I may have missed something, so let me know down in the comments below if I did. Uh, but hopefully this gives you a general gist of the weapon and also just my impressions. What do I think about it? First off, I gotta say I love this outfit for Yatsukadaki. That's the Japanese name which they accidentally let slip in an interview. Um, I think it was actually maybe a uh, stream uh, where the director said it. But we do not know the English name yet. But that is that creepy spider. Uh, and this definitely appears to be its set. I definitely like it. So the charge blade that we're using here, uh, very stylish. Um, so basically it's like the switch axe, you have two modes. You have the sword mode and you have the axe mode where the uh, switch axe, the true power, so to say, comes from the very uh, visceral and aggressive sword mode. This one is the opposite. So the sword is here and it's pretty basic uh, and it's got some nice charging mechanics uh, to power up your axe. Whereas the switch axe is the opposite. The sword will charge also the axe mode. Uh, the sword is basically used for charging, and then we can go into this really powerful axe mode. And if you notice with the axe, the attack animations, it's just really snappy. Foom! Foom! So you see, like, the top of the axe head is very heavy. Uh, so it's very snappy with the attacks. Uh, I love the animations here. You can really get a sense for the power behind a lot of these attacks. So basically when you're in sword mode, uh, you have your X button combo, which is a slash, upward slash, and then this round slash. Cool thing about the round slash, if you notice the shield is in front of you when you do this. Boom. So if you get hit while you're in that animation, you'll have what we call a guard point. This just means that there's a point during the animation in which you will auto guard if you get hit. And there's a lot of special actions you can do from a guard point. So sort of purposely going into that animation before you get hit is actually quite advantageous for the weapon if you get really good at it. Uh, for the A button, we have this uh, sort of charge attack. You want to hold it down and release. Um, if you overcharge it, it does actually get weaker, um, so you don't want to do that. But it's pretty easy to know the timing. Uh, however, I will admit, it would have been nice to have some vibration uh, support, at least from in the demo for this game. I don't know if the full game will have it, um, because that would it's definitely an easier indicator of knowing when the charge is done. Uh, but I think you'll be just fine. There's a lot of flashy animations here. And then X and A is this wonderful charge and attack. And I don't want to misspeak here, but I believe you do get super armor. Uh, so it is a way to sort of get in. Uh, even if there's a lot of people around the monster and you don't want to get flinched, start off with X and A. And you generally can get in there and get off your charge hit without getting flinched or anything like that. Uh, we'll get into like the charge files and I'll show you off the different things. Because if you didn't play World or Iceborne, you may be asking yourself what that sword icon next to the charge shield is uh, up on the top next to my sharpness gauge, so we'll cover that in a second. Um, the other thing you can do with the sword mode, which is really cool, is after an attack, um, if you do some input with the left stick and you press A, uh, you can do this sort of like sliding dash. And this is really good for repositioning, which um, as you get good at the weapon, you'll realize is super important because you're constantly going to be using the axe mode uh, and being able to get yourself in a position here is going to be very important uh, for just setting up your combos and stuff like that. So now we're ready to sort of take a look uh, almost at the axe mode. I almost forgot. If you press X and A after an attack, you'll do this wonderful sort of shield like cha -chung. It actually does two hits. This is really good for if you're really close to the monster or if you have like elemental files, which the demo does not have. Uh, but you can do combos like this instead of just having to use the X button combo. Then finally, holding ZR does guard. It's not a hugely powerful guard, um, but it is pretty good compared to something maybe like the Sword and Shield. Uh, and when you're guarding, if you press X, you'll morph into the wonderful Axe. Uh, the thing here to note, of course, is there's a guard point when you morph to Axe as well. So anytime you think you're about to get hit, just hit ZR and X and you'll do your morph and that will give you a guard point at the top, uh, which will stop you from getting hit. So going back to X mode, uh, there's a few different moves we can do here. The X button is our standard attack. So if we hold forward and press X, you do that wonderful just sort of run in uh, sort of slam, helps you close distance, does really good damage. 
Uh, X standalone is just an upward chop, then a bong, meaty downward chop, and it just sort of, you know, loops. Um, it's pretty good, but basically, honestly, outside forward and X for repositioning, a lot of people do not use the X button attack because what you want to do is press A, because the A button will use those files. Uh, so that'll use one file. If you press A again, that'll use one file, but do two explosions. And then finally, if you do A one more time for a third time, it does that finisher. Again, this is starting to sound like a tutorial, and it's not meant to be, so I'm going to start uh, trying to abbreviate my stuff here. Okay, before we lure the Arzuros out, and this quest is really good for practicing because the Arzuros cannot die, and it flinches very easily, and its hitboxes are good and big and juicy. Uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, I want to show you off the Silkbind arts. Uh, so if you hold ZL and press X, you do this forward sort of morph. Uh, so this doesn't look that good um, by default if you just look at it as is. But there's a lot of different inputs that you can put here. So let's say we're in sword mode and we hit it and then we press A. We go immediately into the elemental combo 2. And then we can obviously go into 3. We can hit X and A after it as well and just go straight into our super move, which is fantastic. So when you're doing the morph attack, so let's say we do it to the forward, if I hold like any direction and I press X and A, I could reposition myself when I do that finisher. So let's say I want to do the finisher to my 90 degree right. I'm going to hold right and press X and A and watch what happens. It goes directly to the right and you can do this for 360 degrees. So let's say I want to do it from behind for some weird reason. Uh, I can do that as well. Like, that is just so awesome, being able to quick reposition. Let's say the monster gets slightly away and you want to do your super, just go get in there and smash them. You can do with them at an angle as well. It's not just up, down, left, and right, which is really cool. There's some other combos you can do from this move as well, so definitely experiment with it. Uh, for example, if you hit ZR, uh, you'll actually go into sword mode. Uh, if you're in sword mode, it won't do anything but just do that attack. So it's sort of like uh, canceling out of it, so to say. The other one we'll have to show you in combat, but you hold ZL and you press A, and you have this sort of guard counter. It's quite long, uh, and if you get hit during it, you get full files. Like It just automatically fills up all your files, so it's a fantastic counter. If you notice, it only costs one bug. Uh, the cooldown uh, is a little bit longer, but not that bad, uh, whereas the X cooldown is much faster, uh, so you can use that move quite a bit, uh, and if you notice, it's already recharged before the other one. Okay, now we are ready, I think, to talk to him and lure out the Arzuros. One final note, and this is so disorganized uh, because this is an impressions video. It used to be that you had to hit like R, X, and A, or R and X at the same time to draw into Axe mode. Now you can just hit ZR and you'll do the same. So that's really nice, especially if you're doing jump attacks. Uh, for example, let's say we're swinging in the air and we hit ZR. We can draw directly into Axe mode very easily. Uh, and that goes for any weapon in which you draw, like switch axe. I incorrectly said that you had to press ZR, X, and A, but you can just hit ZR and you'll draw straight into the weapon. So, very cool. So, let's go ahead and talk to him. Now, we are going to be restricted. We're not going to be able to do silk bind attacks because it will mount the Arzuros. If that accidentally happens, all we have to do is decline to mount it and then we can go back to fighting it again. That puppet spider is so cute. So he's going to bring out the Arzuros, and let me try to show you off uh, just the basic charge so I can talk about charging the shield, because that seems to confuse a lot of people. So let's lock on here, let's charge up. Tring. If you notice, we now have yellow, that charges up three files. If we continue to attack, we'll get red, and that will charge up five. And just like before, if you overcharge, you'll, just, you'll start bouncing. So in this state, what you want to do is just hold uh, ZR to guard and press A. And those will charge those files. And now the A button attacks in the Axe mode will start to use these files to do some wonderful explosions. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. So we'll draw to Axe, hit A, that's one, and I whiff it. There's one, here's the second move, and finally here's the third, and this can KO a monster if you hit him in the face. But he hit me in the face instead. So I didn't hit him in the head, I hit him in the body. Uh, but you can see how the files work and they're very cool. Let me show you off some guard points here. Boom. What I did there was just quickly morph to Axe by pressing 
ZR and X. So let's get him to attack us. I'm going to guard point it and then I'm going to press X and A. And we'll go straight into that wonderful finisher where we'll do three explosions for the price of one file. Yeah, so if you... <laughs> whiffed. <laughs> but it shows you an idea. There's lots of things you could do from a guard point, which is very nice. We'll just hit X and A straight. Anytime in Axe mode will actually give us access to that wonderful explosion attack. So let me charge up some files again. I'll show you how to charge our shield. The whole point of this weapon is charging stuff. That's why it's called the charge blade. So you can charge your shield. You can charge your sword. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. So let's go ahead and charge the shield. So the way to do that is anytime we do that finisher move, uh, which is, for example, if we press X and A after that move, we get the finisher. Um, if we press X and A anytime during axe mode, bonk, we'll get the finisher. There's so many ways to get the finisher. It kind of sounds funny to call it a finisher at this point. This is a very popular way to do it. I can't seem to hit the head with Arzuros. He's too high up for me. So anytime we're going to charge the shield, we're just going to hit ZR to cancel out of it. So let's go ahead and XA and hit ZR. It will cancel out of it and it will instead transfer the energy into the shield. This will now boost our attack power in sword mode or axe mode uh, and make it more powerful, which is really nice. And anytime that we have a charged shield, regardless if we have files or not, we can now charge our sword as well from it. So the way to charge the sword, and this can be a little bit tricky uh, if you're not used to it, is to hold the X button when you're doing the file charge. So we're going to do file charge animation, hold X, and that gives us a nice charge if we hold it. And now our sword is charged as well. If you notice as we attack, we start to get file explosions even on our sword. So now that shield thrust is really nice because it's going to be doing all these extra files uh, and damage. That's great, isn't it? And of course, when you're in a charged uh, shield state, you will get a new finisher, which unloads all your files in one shot. So let's go ahead and trip the Arzuro so I can show that off. So let me go ahead and charge some files here, and I will show you the wonderful finisher that we get now from Axe. Boom! Does lots of hits. Uh, that's definitely the big move that you want to do when the monster is down. If we have no files, let's go ahead and use that guard. If you notice, now we have full files. That's how good that silkbind attack is. It just automatically charges your files. If you notice, our shield is now waning, so we can go ahead and charge that again. Again, just by hitting ZR here to get out of it. Now, one thing I'm constantly asked about, because it is a little hard to do, and it may depend on your camera control settings, uh, but when you're in that animation for the axe finisher, if you hold back in relation to your hunter and you press X during the wind-up animation, you end up canceling out of that like insanely crazy axe move that uses all your files and you can use this normal one here. And you can whiff it just like I did. Okay, now that we have files also, let me show you that morph attack so I can show you how awesome that actually is. Being able to go... So let's say we're over here, we can morph into here, See how fast that is with the morph attack? Whiffing it like crazy, which is probably hurting uh, your eyes a little bit, but uh, bear with me. So let's say we're in sword mode here. We can go straight into the axe. Boom. There we go. That's some... Now that's a lot of damage. Very good. Okay, now that I'm out of files, I'm going to go ahead and use that guard uh, to quickly get into a charge shield. It's going to go by fast, and it's going to look very easy. It does take practice. Do the guard here. Press X and A to go into our finisher. Hit ZR. Boom. Charged shield immediately. Now we're going to use it to go into a charged sword by holding X afterwards. You see how fast? Now I've got full files, a charged shield, and a charged sword. I'm ready to wreck house. Uh, and it didn't take much time at all. <laughs> Whiff! Want more files? No problem. We can get more files. It's that easy.
Looks like our sword needs to be charged again. Again, we can use that counter to do... Boom! <laughs> it's so much faster than the old way, isn't it? Anyways, I hope this gives you an idea of the general moveset and the, the sort of utility of the Silkbind attacks. I really think they're wonderful. Uh, but overall, I like it. I mean, I think that, you know, I don't know the damage numbers in the final game, so I'm not going to talk about, you know, how powerful is X attack versus, you know, Y attack and stuff like that. But overall, I mean, it plays fantastic. It's the same as it was in World Iceborne. Uh, we do not have the Savage Axe, which honestly I never used because I never touched the Charge Blade in Iceborne. I know a lot of people really like that move, um, and it's not in the demo, uh, at least. We have no idea. Maybe it'll be in the full game. Um, but the way that it's configured now, I think the two Silkbind attacks have fantastic utility. Uh, the Morph one, it's you like it or lump it. Uh, if you're really good at positioning, maybe you don't care about it so much. Uh, but the Shield Charge one, the counter peak performance, how can you not like that? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this small impressions video. Uh, hopefully it was interesting. Let me know down in the comments below uh, if I forgot or missed some very important moves, which is definitely a possibility. And until next time, happy charging.